running? Why are you running? Hey guys, my name is Bando, this is Brexit Bando, and I'm not talking about custodies, I'm not even talking about many women this time. I'm in fact talking about literal Nazis. Yes, the announcement has come from Warlord Games themselves that we are getting 3rd edition of Bolt Action. This has left many people uh, very upset, specifically people who have just ordered a load of rule books from them. And they're doing a classic Games Workshop. Now, it's not as bad as Games Workshop, mainly because 2nd Edition has been with us for about 8 years now. But still, the nice thing to do would be to refund those people those books. Um, it probably wouldn't happen. So, what am I going to cover in this? Well, I'm not going to touch the rules because the rules aren't out yet. I'm not going to touch on anything to do with 3rd edition. No, I'm going to touch on the fact that we have a new edition coming and this may be a perfect time for you to jump in and try Bolt Action. Now, what is Bolt Action? Bolt Action is probably the most accessible and most widely played Second World War 28mm tabletop game. What does that mean? Well, it's the same scale as 40k, basically. And it's made by some of the guys who made 40k. So they play in a similar fashion. Uh, they're not the same game. They don't play exactly the same. And they do use some very like wildly different systems. The most different part of them is how you activate your units. Uh, instead of there being a, a kind of I-go-you-go -go system, you have... Order dice for every single unit you have. Each squad has a single dice. And you and your opponent, you throw all these dice into a bag. And then you reach into the bag, one after the other, and you pull a dice out. And if I pull my dice out, I can activate one of my units, any one I want. And if we pull out one of my opponent's dice, they can do it. Now... What can happen is I can pull out all of my dice in one go. Like, one after the other, after the other, after the other. Um, but this it simulates the kind of chaos of battle, you know. Battle isn't ordered. It isn't like everyone moves equally. And it doesn't mean I win automatically if I get to move all my units. Because if I move all my units, I've got no way of counteracting anything that my opponent does. Um, so it does it balances out well. But it does mean you do need to buy some dice. So what I'm going to cover is what I would recommend picking up to start this game. Now, with the release of a new edition, we are probably going to get... A new starter set. Now, Bolt Action has several starter sets. Uh, I think the newest being uh, Gentleman's War, which is the North African campaign between the British and the Germans. And you can see for £93 from Warlord's own website, you get a fair amount of models. Um, This is all hard plastic. It's the same sort of style of plastic miniatures that you would have got from Games Workshop. So if you're familiar with like an Imperial Guard box set, you'll be familiar with how these sorts of models, you know, how you do it. Um, and there's no hard and fast rule on miniatures. Like in 40k, an intercessor and a stern guard they look different they have different equipment um i need to buy the stern guard kit to make the stern guard i need to buy the intercessors to make the intercessors more or less there's pretty much nothing you can't build with a standard infantry box so for example um you can see here if i can zoom in oh this gentleman up here happens to have a light mortar so I can build a light mortar team. Up here and down here, these are anti-tank guns. And an anti-tank gun, there's a light mortar for the Germans as well. Um, that's a separate unit entry. Here is a, an officer with two bodyguards. Uh, you don't actually have to take the bodyguards, you can just take an officer on their own. These are all made from the same kit 
um, snipers, spotters. I could take uh, this kneeling down guy and I could replace the arm with the rifle and just put some binoculars in his hand. That's an artillery observer or a forward aircraft observer, which means I can now call in some more heavy weapons. The same is true for all the factions. So the Germans, for example, um, they get... Um, you get medium machine guns. Medium machine guns aren't just this. So this is an MG34. That's a light machine gun. A medium machine gun is basically a light machine gun. So the same gun in a fixed position. It's supposed to represent, um, you know, like an MG42 or an MG34 on a tripod with lots of ammunition. They've got, you know, a gunner two crew behind them, feeding them ammunition and changing barrels. So it's a different option. More shots, tougher to get rid of. Well, you can build it from that. Just take that, take him, take another guy lying down with some ammunition, build up some stuff around them to make it look like they're dug in, put them on like a, I think it's like a 50 mil base, usually. That's a, there you go, that's a medium machine gun. So, picking up something like this is a great way of starting. But we don't know what's changing with 3rd edition. So there's stuff down here, like the tokens and the dice, that could change. Because from 1st edition to 2nd edition, we introduced templates. And that was not a popular choice at the time. We don't know what's going to happen with pinning markers which is another key part of the game. If a unit is shot at and uh, there's a successful hit, I can't remember if it's just shot at or if they... Yeah, I think it's a successful hit. Um, they get a pinning marker, which means they're minus one to any dice roll they do until it's removed. Well, that might change. The order dice. The order dice changed shape. They used to be sharp like corners, like traditional cubes. Then they moved over to rounded corners, which is fine, you know. But it did make them using them a little difficult when you're using the old dice and your opponent's got the new dice and you can just reach into the bag and feel which one's which. So you have to factor in that some of this stuff might not be worth it. Now, I'm pretty sure things like, I think it's a Humber and... The SDZKF-222, they're not going anywhere. I'm pretty sure the decals aren't going anywhere. And here's another really useful thing. The, the vehicles come with, uh, with, the, with the rules and stuff on them. Um, they also tell you what they're appropriate for early, mid, and late war periods. Which is really cool. I wish we had something like that in the Heresy, actually. Where it would tell you that this option is suitable for... You know, loyalist traitors, early war, late war, siege of terror, that sort of thing. So what else do we have? Well, we have three starter sets at the moment. Band of Brothers is Normandy, between the German Grenadiers and American Paratroopers. And I'd probably say this is the weakest. Um, you know, you get... Two squads of um, paratroopers. I don't think the paratroopers are a particularly great plastic kit. I think they're one of the weaker ones. Um, I think the grenadier kit for the Germans is fantastic. Uh, lots of extra parts, lots of interesting bits, uh, and some ruins. And island assault, I think, is one of the better ones. Um, lots of marines, lots of Japanese. The Japanese are a very, very powerful army. Um, plus you get some interesting terrain bits which you don't get in the other box sets uh, I had a marine army um, I never quite finished it <clears throat> it's definitely something I'd like to go back and do again I think to be honest a gentleman war, gentleman's war is the strongest kit um, I think it's the best value but it might not be a setting you're interested in so, uh, I would recommend avoiding things like the Stalingrad set. 
unless you are absolutely dead set on collecting the Eastern Front. If you really want to be into Germans or into the Russians, or you have a friend who's really into one side of those, um, and you want to split the box with them, because it comes with a lot of terrain, and it's very expensive. It's also got a mixture of plastic and metal models in there. Um, the German Winter Germans, fantastic models. Um, some snipers that you can't get anywhere else. Plastic vehicle kits. You know, scenery that you can't get anywhere else. But it is £270. So, things like that. Pegasus Bridge, again, I'd avoid. Warlord also do some bundles. Look, bundles for sales. Um, some of these are great. Some of these are really good. Um, so, I'm going to assume... Let's go for... Um, I don't know. Let's go for Britain. Great Britain. Uh, it's a nice and simple one. And we want to do a British Airborne Army. Um, we've watched The Longest Day. And, uh, you know, that's really done it for us. So, we have two real choices here to start with. Which I would think would be a, a, a good place to start if you've never collected bolt action ever. The Starter Army. Or just the regular Infantry troops choice box set whatever you want to call it the standard box set for everyone and this this applies basically for every faction in the game um, is a 30 piece oops, 30 piece is a 30 miniature plastic kit and it tells you on the front what periods it's suitable for early war mid war late war these guys are mid to late war because the paratroopers um, as they are shown here, weren't a thing until they came back after Dunkirk. And they can be assembled into representing different units. So it's not just British paratroopers, you can represent Polish paratroopers down here. You can represent um, SAS, British SAS, French SAS. And I believe also, or basically any Commonwealth who, who Special Forces Commander unit um, can pretty much be rep represented from this kit. You can see here the sprues, lots of bits. You have rifles, SMGs, um, Piat launchers, so your anti-tank launchers, Bren guns, um, and you also get things like your 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 webbing, your pouches. You know, just like in 40k, your pouches are separate. So if you've got your guys with Sten guns, you can make sure you've got the right Sten gun pouches in place. 30 miniatures, that allows you to make your two troops, you know, 10-man rifle sections, whatever you want, you know, however you want to equip them. And then, say, an officer and some special units. Or you could do three rifle squads but more or less if you and a friend bought one box of this each so a pack of order dice you could have a game of bolt action in the time it takes you to build the models that's it um, on top of this you then have the starter um, armies which are usually that 30 man box set plus some extra bits so in this, the extra bits you get are um, some specialists, so that looks like a flamethrower engineer. Oh. A light mortar team. A medium mortar team. Mortars are fantastic, you will always take a mortar. Uh, an anti-tank gun of some sort, or a field gun, and a medium machine gun. These will all either be in metal or in what's called Forge World Resin. Forge World Resin? Sorry, Warlord Resin. Yeah. 
Um, it's a nice resin. It's very different to Forge World resin. It's made by Silo Cast, I believe. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's a good material. It's not bad. So, buying this gives you pretty much stuff for use in all the slots, force organization slot, basically. Um, and it looks like you actually get um, I think you might get an extra sprue of infantry in there as well. Yeah, 40 infantry. And then everything else. The starter armies. It's £69 here. You can get them cheaper in other places. The There are a couple that are fully... Um, fully plastic now. Uh, let's find one. Here we go. You can see here the German, winter German one. It's a little more expensive, but it does have more in it. Um, we have 59 infantry and two vehicles, medium medium mortar, some casualties, officers, observer, medium machine gun. I keep scrolling to think that that's going to scroll up the page and it doesn't, it just changes the image. A Panzer 3, I think. Could be a Panzer 4. I, I struggle to tell those two apart. And an Opal Blitz. Now that can be assembled as either a half track or as a truck. Um... And this will have multiple variants as well. In fact, when I tried to build... Is it a... It doesn't say. Uh, when I tried to build the last one of these, I had it had so many variants, I actually struggled with it. Um, like it, was just, it was just too much. <laughs> That's why I prefer resin um, kits, basically. Uh, let's go to the Soviet Union. You could do something stupid like buying the uh, Bronkata Armoured Boat Platoon, which comes with a river patrol boat and several units of Soviet naval infantry, um, which I have, and it's as long as my forearm. It's massive. Um, I actually really like the, these guys as a unit. I think they're an interesting unit. The, these are older models. These are metal models. So the sculpting is definitely not like up to GW standards. Um, but I really like them. So yeah, you've got plenty of options. Uh, let's have a look at Italy. Italy and new guys as well. They've had a load of releases recently. Don't think they've got a starter army yet. Oh no, they do. Again, another two tanks, loads of extra options, all plastic kits. Oh no, plastic and metal. These guys are metal. Some metal models down here. An auto cannon, mortar, machine gun. And again, the plastic kit can be assembled to represent various different formations in their army. So, I know some people who watch the channel have zero interest in historical wargaming. And I can understand that. I really can. I've got no interest in collectible card games, for example. Nothing. Like, a Warhammer collectible card game wouldn't interest me. Hilarious Heresy collectible card game, I literally played the one on PC just to look at the pretty pictures. The game itself, zero interest. But there's one thing that this game has over 40k. And it's something that might surprise you. It's not price, it's not availability. 
They can't wreck on this one. All right, guys. My name is Bando. This is Proxy Bando. Why don't you try a new game? Move out of your comfort zone for a bit. As always, pop a comment down below and say hello. Um, hit subscribe, like, share, whatever you want to do. If you're shopping in the UK or in Europe, you can visit Element Games and use my code down in the description to get yourself some double reward points. Um, you know, collect enough of them, just like Pokemon, and uh, you can get stuff for free. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Bando. This is Brexit Bando. Have a great day. Oh, we just hit 1,400 uh, subscribers, which is fantastic. Um, which means I think it's time we started the competition giveaway for 1,500. Um, all you need is to pop a comment in this video, be subscribed, and be in the Discord. And that's it. All you need to do is those three things and you'll be entered into a giveaway. Um, you'll be able to pick what it is you get from a selection of models I've got. I've got things like the Master of Possession. Uh, I've got a Phobos Captain. Um, I've got some other stuff. We'll, we'll, but there'll be posts about what I've got to give away. You'll be able to pick what you want. Spooky won the last one at 1,000. Um, so yeah. Comment down below. Be publicly subscribed to the channel and be in Discord. And uh, when we hit 1500, I'll do a draw and we'll see who wins. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.